Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am Abe with MysticGenMara.com, a small town mystic from the middle of Idaho. And tonight I would like to offer a book review for your consideration and it is by Dr. and Master Zi Gong Sha and Adam Markle. It's called Soul Over Matter. So it is an ancient and modern wisdom and practical techniques to create unlimited abundance. So this is kind of an interesting book. I like almost everything that Dr. Uh, and Master Shaw has written. Uh, there's a lot of them, and I've talked a little bit about him off and on. But this particular book I was kind of led to by accident. It wasn't one that just I was searching out. It just kind of fell into my lap. And it basically is giving the concept, description, however you want to phrase that, of financial independence, wealth, abundance, however that appears for you, but it's not just about making the dollars, it's why is there a blockage? What is it that is slowing down, opening the gateways of abundance for you? And so you go through in the first section, which is before soul over matter. So this is helping you understand like mind over matter, a brief history of money, which is prosperity rituals and how scarcity is not something that nature generally goes with. It, it occurs, but it's not like <laughs> not like what we humans like to play with it. Uh, and then you go into like karmic life and business. This one is interesting, this chapter, and it's only like 10 pages long. Because it talks about your past life history, if you believe in past lives. But karma also is what's happened in this life going back parental influences, generational things, um, what we have been, what has been applied to us through society. So all of that stuff affects, really, our financial and our business uh, acumen and growth. So he kind of goes through how those things can actually affect. It's not, it's <laughs> this book is not just about, this is how you make money and deal with things. It's talking about the spiritual aspects of it as well, because Adam Mer Markle is the one that's kind of going over and teaching and explaining the financial side of things about just the physical business world. But Dr. Shaw is talking about, yeah, those are nice. Those don't work if your soul's out of balance. And that's where you talk about affirmations and positive thinking and things like that. This one is definitely more about how to you how do you <laughs> how do you incorporate both of those into a cohesive pattern for your life um, and then once you understand kind of the history of how we got here <laughs> then you move into soul over matter which is they first go over what's the concept behind it there's sacred ancient words to help transform finances mantras and things like that um, there's sacred phrases for success which do help <laughs> and then there's the actual practice of soul over over matter and that's where we get into the metaphysical soul healing level of what's going on how do we fix it from there you go into the transforming your finances and business while why some people have wealth and others don't what's the mindset how does karma play in what does karma do bad karma versus good within abundance and they also bring up through here and it's not like set in one spot it kind of scatter it through that abundance is not just about money abundance is um, friendship it's loyalty it's a uh, family it's a house it's vehicles that run all of those are signs of abundance so yes the dollar the zeros in your bank account mean a lot that's not the only place that abundance exists, and that's part of what they're describing here. Uh, then we go into creating good karma to transform finances, how to self-clear negative karma, soul blockages, with mind blockages, body blockages, to support finances and business. This one is interesting because there's around this section, like the importance of your name of your business, following the Tao of business. These little sections here, because it's not just about building your own personal business if you work for a company that has an unethical name is not the uh, <laughs> most ethical overall those things can be affected 
but it also means that if you're if you have massive negative karma especially dealing with money you can actually bring that negative karma into a business that's not saying it's bad because businesses have lots of peoples but overall to improve the quality and mindset and growth of a business yours or an employer when you work through clearing out your karma your financial abundance and your personal prosperity grow but that affects where you work as well so you've got this dynamic and this really cool balance that you can work on and you might think i'm just a clerk at a grocery store i'm just a gas station attendant mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean you can't work to improve and that's kind of what they're talking about through here is you don't have to improve everything start working on the subtleties the soul aspects and allow that growth and that prosperity to expand out from you because everything that you do affects the environment that you're in so if you're improving and you're getting better your work environment will improve as uh, as well so then we go into the power and significance of soul marketing which I'm going to talk about that a little bit by itself because it is kind of a fascinating concept then you then there's uh, applying soul over matter there are 10 practices to clear Jing Chi Shen blockages and manifesting your financial abundance all across your life then we move into part three because the first part was introduction the second part was these are the tools that you need to actually do the thing and part three is this is the thing <laughs> and it's action steps for finance finances and businesses it's how to that, the title of this one's kind of funny shake well a vaccine for the mediocrity epidemic you don't have to always just be average if you want to be something more there's ways to do it that actually will improve everyone has a unique talent gift skill or appearance something that they bring to the table and that's what they're like you work on bringing that forward because those things are important um, they go through like a life well shaken there's different action steps and this is where um, Adam Markle steps forward a little bit more Dr. Shaw is still involved because he's talking about the spiritual side of things tying into the financial but you go through these different steps of different celebrities or people that they've worked with and how they have made improvements in their life using these different techniques spiritual and otherwise and then you go into um, the financial act action steps there's one two three four there's eight of them total and so you kind of you go through the process you start to understand things better and see things in some ways the way they're supposed to be seen and that sounds weird but it's but we see things uh, almost like we've taken nightmare pills we put nightmare glasses on where everything we see is bad horrible it'll never get better there's nothing we can do dr. Shaw's like or you can use your soul's energy working with your ancestors your guides your guardians God source divine the Tao the path the way and bring in the light and help clear those paths help clear the negativity out of your karmic cycle which will affect your finances as well because a lot of times we don't even realize that like the business that we can work into they have a karma that when you start working there you may pick up on and if they've been running in the red for years you might pick up on that energy and start to have the same balance but if you can work on building your soul's energy building up your personal uh, karma into a higher state you might notice there's some differences start to occur at work too um, but he talks about in here uh, and I'll read this paragraph and then I'll explain a little bit more you will receive two major treasures one of love and one of forgiveness a gift from heaven we then will apply these heavenly treasures to clear soul mind and body Shen Qi Jing blockages in your finances and your business these permanent soul treasures uh, you can go through this process in here and it's and I'm not going to give you the names but what happens with dr. Shaw's work and I do appreciate this is if you go through the exercises as he lays them out there's breathing exercises there's um, thinking exercises there's focus exercises and then there's the chanting aspect of it and it's Tao chanting so it's not just 
I'm going to chant these random words. There's specific words for specific things. So you'll go through these processes and it can actually help you integrate these soul alignments, so to speak, uh, that he has offered. And he does this with almost all of his work, which is why it's so fascinating to read. And before anyone's like, you can't do that through a book. Have you ever had a conversation with someone? And I'm being very honest here. You've had a conversation with someone. It doesn't even have to be about metaphysics. It doesn't have to be about a topic you're worried about. Just having a conversation with someone and something is said that triggers that aha light bulb moment, that light bulb above your head, or all of a sudden you feel a connection or some kind of a download from an experience, it doesn't really have anything to do with the conversation you were having. You can get the same experience from certain types of work in books. The thing is, is you have to put in the work and the effort beforehand to be open and active to the gift that is being offered to you. Uh, so that's where you can bring in these financial gifts. I think he does, there's a handful of them in here he does. He does multiples, but in this particular book, I think he does like four or five. Um, so then you bring those in and you just, you focus on the breathing, you focus on the images that he talks about. You're in a meditative state as you're doing this. So you're being open to your guides, guardian, and ancestors to bring these alignments in for you. Then we move into, and there's some hand uh, symbols, um, not mantras, I just lost the name of them, <laughs> that you can use as well to help integrate these uh, energies. But the section that I wanted to talk a little bit about, because it's fascinating to me, is soul marketing. Um, th when we talk about soul marketing, you've already done the work, you've worked through the gifts, you've brought those in, you've got to, this is about halfway through the book, so you start to understand the karmic balances of things. You've started to understand how to improve the ways you can work through your karma and how that can improve finances, abundance, prosperity, all those <laughs> fancy key words out there. But when we get into soul marketing, and he kind of gears this one more towards people who have their own businesses, even if it's a side hustle, but you can also apply this to a um, if you're not the type of person who wants to start their own business, you can apply this to the company you work for as well. And it's basically what you're doing is you're bringing in your ancestors, your guides, and your guardians, but you're also bringing in this, the what he calls soul energy. It's every person who is, wants this type of product. And then you go through a, a basic sequence of phrases and he talks about use this as your basic and as you continue you can expand change things as needed as long as there's certain key Taoist phrases that you keep in in there because those are the ones that kind of the the active activator key type words um, like this one dear every person in my city every person in my country all humanity then he goes through some of the phrases um, welcome in for a short time and this is like your business and you go through what you're offering and then you add these specific phrases in again and it wouldn't be right of me to share his work that's what the book is for <laughs> but it is it is worth it in a lot of ways um, and you're not just chanting this once you do your invitations you go through the process and then there's a period where you are focusing on what the product is that you are offering not anyone else the product or service you are offering you chant these certain phrases that are like I said they're Taoist emphasized phrases um, and he recommends three to five minutes and then you can also add in light language if you speak light language or another form of divine communication at the end then you thank everyone r remind them of your name your business whatever that is and then you continue to chant as you just focus on what you're offering. But then it comes down to um, you send everyone home basically at the end of this and you're talking spiritually. But what you're doing is you're sending out instead of through the mail, which is, you know, expensive, you're able to sit at home and you're still sending out a mailer, blasting it, but you're sending it out in soul frequency. And 
you're setting intentions as you do this to basically attract soul aligned clients you're not going to just get somebody random that's going to be like that's what you offer really woodworking <sighs> no thanks i'll just go buy my couch at walmart you're going to get the people that are looking for handmade products you're going to get the people who are looking for the services that you are offering and it's weird to say but it it changes how you view life because it brings you into an alignment where you could be at the grocery store pick buying groceries and the person behind you just randomly starts talking about something they want that you just happen to be able to offer it sounds weird I've had it happen to me personally especially after I started doing some of the exercises in the book and I don't do them consistently full disclosure but I do go back to it a lot especially when I'm like what is going on why am I feeling this way there's a blockage there's something not working with my business here or my day job I go back through and I work through the exercises and I notice that oh it's time to work through that aspect of the karma or something comes up that's like a family line issue that needs to be dealt with we're not here to deal with just our lives that's we are a collection and they talk about this in some of in dr shaw talks about it a little bit in this book but in other of his works as well we are a collection of everything that's come before if we need to clear something or work something that's a generational issue generational karma we have every right to stop the karmic flow process and clear that karma and then like i said there's he gives ex they give exercises in here on how to whoops <laughs> wrong page um build a better karma let's see where to go there's a section here on that creating good karma so we'll bounce over to that and we'll just touch on a couple of these real quick for you um ancient spiritual statements teach us how to create good mouth karma so you're speaking and it's um there's a quote here and this is a ancient Tao statement so if I mess it up I do apologize um, hua yo san shu kiao shu wi miao do not <laughs> quote me directly because I am not good with all of the different ones but it basically is there are three ways to say something and the artful way is the most profound when we learn how to speak and communicate through our soul energy as well as with our mouths we start to notice that we align better with our clientele but when we are more clear with our wording especially in a spiritual sense we can tap into our subconscious and help clear out the blockages it's amazing how much power our words have uh, and that's one of the things that they do talk a little bit about in here uh, and then it talks about are you creating good karma or bad karma and there is I'll read the one sentences this one is how you know you're building bad karma if what you do what you speak and what you think benefit only you selfishly you are creating bad karma if you're looking to build good karma the best way to create good karma is to offer unconditional universal services through every aspect of your life you create good karma by making others happier healthier by what you do what you speak and this one is a little bit odd what you think because if you're in a negative mindset you're going to automatically start to affect the other people we are in a period of time this has nothing to do with this book where our energies our souls our intuitive abilities are kicking up we're stepping out of a fully physical world and we're starting to step into one that is way more energetic and more spiritual when we start to understand some of the principles as dr shaw talks about and there's many other teachers out there that talk about it it allows us to understand that for us to be able to clear our, our karma and for us to be able to move forward in success in prosperity in abundance we have to start here we have to start in our hearts we have to start with our souls our minds and our bodies bringing them into alignment with our higher frequencies 
We can work with ancestral energy. We can work with our guides, our guardians, our angels, working with God, Source Divine. These are all ways to improve our lives. And then from there, we can start talking about the financial part. This book is really a fun book. There's a lot of good exercises in it. Um, there's a link in the description if you're interested. Overall, even if you're not in a bad spot, there's some good tools in there to help understand <laughs> why some of the things have happened in life because we improve a lot over time anyway. The way Dr. Shaw teaches in his work, it's a way to accelerate that process so that it doesn't take 20 years, you can do it in five. <laughs> and in a lot of ways, there's some of the stuff that you can, st if you're open to the experience, that's the other part, and you're willing to put in the effort, you can start noticing things changing pretty quickly. So again, everyone is different. This is not financial advice, but it is a fun book. It is a good book on some good tips and some tricks and strategies to help us understand that just saying the affirmations, just saying the mantras, just having the positive visualization, those are great, but they're p bits and pieces of a pattern. He actually kind of gives you, not kind of, he gives you a pattern and a path to move forward. It might work for you, might not, but it's definitely another tool to have in your arsenal. So with that, I will wrap this up. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, evening, night, whichever you're at. Uh, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, drop a like on the video, and comment down below. If you've actually ever read the book, if you've done any of the exercises in it, um, be definitely interested to hear your opinions, your views, and thoughts on it. And I will talk to you in a future video.